Hey everyone, this is Dungeon RPG. Today I'm going to talk about a game called Blaster Master Zero. This is actually a Nintendo Switch launch game, which I almost bought the Nintendo Switch console for. But then last night I got onto Nintendo 3DS eShop and found this is also for the Nintendo 3DS. So this was like a godsend for me. So I could play it on the system I already have. So for those of you that actually played the original Blaster Master on Nintendo and uh, Famicom, you might be a lot more hyped for this game than I am. And I've played this game for about an hour, an hour and a half. As far as I can tell from just watching a video of the original game, this is actually an enhanced remake of the original Blaster Master rather than a whole new title or a sequel. And this time, it's actually a collaboration of uh, Sunsoft, which is the company that made the original Blaster Master, and also NT Creates as the other developer. As we know, NT Creates is the company that brought us the Mega Man Zero series, Mega Man ZX series, and also Gunvolt. So this feels right at home for me. This is already out on the uh, Nintendo 3DS eShop in Japan, which is where I bought it from, a Japanese 3DS but it's also going to come out for the other regions in the next few days. And the Japanese version actually comes with English language options, as you can see right here. So if you actually have a Japanese 3DS, you can actually play this uh, with English language options if you prefer. So basically, this is like a run and gun game, kind of similar to your Metroid and things like Polestar. So in this overworld mode, as I call it, you pilot this big tank with this huge cannon, What's interesting is that you can not only fire directly forward, but also you can fire at a 45 degree angle, and uh, directly upwards as well. And if you have trouble aiming with the tank while moving forward, all you have to do is press the R button to lock your cannon to 45 degrees, and then fire this way. And you can actually get off your tank at any time and play as this little guy, which is like your pilot. So you can climb ladders, as well as killing enemies normally your tanks can and won't reach. As well as entering these dungeons. So in dungeon mode, this game plays completely differently. Now this is like a top-down third-person action game, kind of like the first Zelda. So in this dungeon mode, you can move freely in all eight directions, as well as you can lock on to a particular direction by holding the R button, like this. There's a lot of exploration and puzzle element to it, like there's all these new weapons you obtain from beating the boss, and with all those weapons and upgrades, you unlock entirely different areas that you can explore. You also got this pretty cool weapon upgrade system, as you can see here with your gun. It has eight different levels, starting with your original blaster that just has this pellet gun as a very short range to a longer range weapon. And then you have this penetrating shot that can shoot through different blocks. A spread shot. Also, this rapid firing machine gun. A reflector beam. A flamethrower. <laughs> as well as this crazy spammable rainbow beam of death. My favorite one is probably this lightning spark shot. As soon as it makes a contact with the enemy, it shoots everyone on the screen. Spark shot! <laughs> so broken. All these weapons and upgrade system are just so Mega Man-esque. So yeah, now that the Switch is out and everyone's playing Zelda, I thought I would just tell everyone about this sweet game that is probably a little overlooked and not getting the attention that it deserves. And because this is also a Switch launch title, if you have the Switch, you can also get this for your Switch too. So if you have any questions about Blaster Master, feel free to leave a comment down below. And certainly go check out this game if that's your NES nostalgia. Thanks for watching guys, I'll see you soon in another video.